So this was originally my wife's uh, 50th birthday present. Uh, and this was back in, I think, 2016. And first we got the range. And then we actually ended up uh, completely redoing the entire kitchen around it. So we literally spent like, you know, a small fortune redoing the kitchen based on the, this range. We started having problems after a uh, self-cleaning uh, uh, episode. Understanding is from Consumer Reports, is on this series of stoves can have a tendency to overheat and melt the electronics. Anyway, we started having an issue where when we had the oven on, and this is a dual fuel unit, so we have a gas stove top and we have an electric oven. And the electric oven, all of a sudden, the, the, the blue light that usually tells you whether it's preheating and whether it's got up to temperature would just start blinking, which it doesn't normally do. And then we realized that when it was doing that, it had lost temperature, like it had shut itself off or something. And we would have to restart it. And so you'd kind of turn it off and then turn it back on again. But one of the functions of the uh, of the oven itself is that it's supposed to preheat quickly by turning on the broiler when it's preheating. So if you had food in the oven and you turned it off and then turned it back on again, it turns the broiler on and, of course, chars whatever you had in there. So we learned not to do that. Anyway, so we contacted the people we bought the stove from, the dealer, the retailer, and they said, well, we don't handle that, but you have to go through a um, authorized Viking repair shop. So they gave us the number of the local person and we contacted them. They came out and they said, well, so at this point, because of the, the, the door didn't seem like it was set correctly. And my wife had been reading that this was sometimes a problem that the hinges on this particular model had a known issue. And he said, oh, those should probably be replaced. We had just gotten the stuff. This was brand new. And we thought, well, I don't know about that. And then we contacted, so then we contacted Viking and said, hey, what's the deal? I mean, we just bought this thing. And they were kind of like, well, we don't, you know, we could maybe do this, maybe do that. This, uh, the, the sales rep or the customer service rep, rather, um, gave my wife a direct line. And she said she would call her back. And then she didn't. So then my wife called and said, hey, you know, like, what's going on? And the woman would talk to her again. This went on like three or four times. Um, and then finally, she just stopped taking her call. And they never, they never did anything. They never tried to fix it. They never gave us anything. They never did anything. So then we had the, so, some, so then the repair guy uh, says, well, it's either one of, it's either the thermostat or it's this, or it's the electronic motherboard. And uh, I don't know which one it is. And to figure it out, we'd probably have to replace both. Uh, and that's like $700. Now this is after spending 6,000 on the stove. And so we contacted Viking again and they said, yes, I mean, nothing we can do about it. Um, so the, the repair guy told us, well, here's what I would do. Don't use the convection setting. Don't use the bake setting. Only use the convection setting. And don't use this. But you, So this is a brand new stove with all these bells and whistles. And they're telling us, well, just do this. So I don't know why we took that, but we did. And we were like, all right, so we just always cook it on true bake. So this is a couple of years now. And it's like, you know, we're just kind of limping along. But it's like, fine, whatever. And then all of a sudden, now we're, we would be cooking a meal and realize, and the light didn't blink, but we would realize it had lost temperature because, let's say, uh, some chicken was in the oven, should have taken an hour, should have been done. You open the oven, A, it's not hot, B, the chicken's half cooked. And you go like, well, I don't even know how long it's been off. I don't know what temperature it was on. I don't know. So, of course, we bought an oven thermometer and started testing it and it'd be like, it would be all over the place. Not like, oh, it's a little off. Like it's at, set at 425 and it's at 150 or 200. And it was just turning itself off. 
So it was a big crapshoot. So it'd be like, so my wife won't, she's like, I'm not cooking a turkey. You know, I'm not cooking anything. It's going to take a long time. So, you know, brownies, you give it a whirl. So we finally had enough. So we contact the repair guy out. I, I sit with him this time and be like, this is our history. This is what's going on. And he gives us the same things. Like I can replace these two parts. And but he said, you should really contact Viking and say, you know, like, what the heck? You know, what's going on with this? So I contact Viking. Uh, I get this woman on the line. And she looks up and says, well, I only have one record of you ever calling. And, you know, uh, and then nothing happened after that. She had no record of my wife continued to having called this other customer service rep. So uh, I I said, well, that's baloney. But I said, but regard. Oh, and she, then she said, so that was, I have this record of you back in 2016 or 2017. I forget which now. And uh, she said, if you had called every year from then until now and said it was something wrong, maybe there was something I could do. But since you didn't, there's nothing I can do. I'm like, oh, that's how that works. So she said, well, hold on. Let me talk to my manager. She goes, I don't know. Maybe she took a cigarette break. I don't know. And came back and said, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do. And I said, all right, I just want you to know that um, I'm going to write about this. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take my $7,000 out of your brand. Uh, I'm in marketing. I'm in journalism. It's like, I'll write about it. I'm going to tell this story because you guys don't stand behind your product. And I didn't hear it back from. So I started posting things to social media and I'm rather creative. So I was creating my own little ads and I wrote my own stories and I make my own posts. So I learned that Viking is owned by Middleby Corporation, a huge corporation that owns all these brands like Aga, among others, but mostly a lot of commercial stuff. And so I started tagging both of them and Viking in my posts. And so, I don't know, a week ago or so, I get a call out of the blue, 800 number. Normally, I don't answer those, but I was in the car. I answered. It's somebody from Middleby Residential, which sounds like a home builder, but really is their consumer products uh, division. And this is a customer service person. She said, I understand that you're, you know, have an issue. I said, yes. She said, well, can you tell me what it is? And I said, well, do you want the long version or the short version? And she said, give it to me. So I gave her the long version. I told her, this is what happened. This is, you know, this is how we've gotten to now. And she keeps apologizing. I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm sorry you had that. Oh, well, you know, what a curse from service rep supposed to do. Fine. On Wednesday. And she said, um, I'm going to kick this up to management. Um, you know, it, it's possible that somebody could get back. In, I'll get back in touch with you. She said, it'll be me. Unfortunately, I don't remember her name, but it might have been Crystal or something like that. And she said, um, it might be by the end of today, but if not, de uh, definitely no later than Friday. That was last Friday. Um, so I hear nothing. Saturday, I, uh, I go to look at my social media and I realize that Middleby has blocked me on Twitter. So I'm not allowed to see their posts. I can still tag them, of course, but I can't see what they're writing about. I don't know why Middleby. Um, and so I have yet to hear back from them. So, uh, so they just ghosted me. So not only did they not call me back, even if they called me back and said, look, there's nothing we can do. They're like, all right, that's their decision. But they didn't even do what they said they were going to do, which was just to call me back. They could have called me back and said, hey, tough luck. Uh, but they didn't. And I've since then read enough comments online to realize this is an ongoing uh, situation. And it's really unfortunate because we're serious cooks. And we bought this because, not because it was kitchen decor uh, and not just a look professional grade oven. And we were led to believe that that's what Viking was selling. That's why they were so expensive. Uh, and not just that it was some vanity project. And unfortunately, that's what I'm learning that a lot of these are. They're not really professional grade. They're 
they just look good and they're they're made for people who put them in fancy kitchens that never cook and that's so that's that's my story all we wanted them to do was to actually at least try to repair this was a problem that we were clearly having from back when it was clearly in warranty when we first bought it we've had the same issue and they've never attempted to correct it um if I had to do it over again, I would have returned the whole stove, but that just seemed drastic at the time. Like we wanted the stove. We liked the way it looked. I liked the way it, I liked the features. Um, I just wanted it to work. So now I'm waiting for the repairman to come and it's going to cost me another 700 plus dollars just to get it to do what it's supposed to have done from day one. So uh, I would like Viking to actually stand behind their product and fix it pay for the parts. Even if I had to pay for the service, um, they should have, they should have shipped the parts. Mm -hmm.